Leaving a report about the internal policies that Kentucky State University released today, including millions of dollars in credit card spending and extravagant bonuses to certain administrators. WDRB's Christy Batista details what the auditor calls significant issues at the university. Christy. The 113 page report details a lot of mismanagement of university money, including hundreds of dollars spent in the Bahamas, in Las Vegas, and at Churchill Downs. The state auditor says they really couldn't do a proper audit because of the lack of records the previous administration kept. He says they had to piece together a lot of things to come up with these findings. I, I can be honest uh, that I've just not seen this level of failure in terms of checks and balances. Kentucky State University's interim president joins the Kentucky auditor to release the findings of a special examination of the university. It finds the financial and internal policies of the former administration at KSU had multiple issues, including poor to non-existent record keeping and little to no oversight of spending. Now, unhappily, our auditors discovered that KSU prohibited or limited the sharing of information outside of select groups causing a fear of retribution among university staff. The 113 page report details the credit card spending of the administration over a three year period, totaling more than $4 million. That includes $657 in the Bahamas, $313 at Churchill Downs, $238 at a Las Vegas florist, $322 for Sirius XM and $180 for an edible arrangement. The report also states the former president spent more than $9,200 on an all staff retreat at Kentucky Castle. It is a sole responsibility of that individual to make sure that other people's monies are protected. Worries over Kentucky's only historically black public university's financial well-being and lawsuits alleging misconduct by campus officials came to a head when the former president resigned suddenly in 2021. It's been under state oversight ever since. But the state auditor says they could have gotten these findings sooner if the former administration would have cooperated. Directives by KSU's former EVP for finance to not, I repeat, not assist the internal auditor. Had the former internal auditor had the opportunity and support to perform his work as planned, many of the issues we identified, like weak internal controls and oversight of KSU's financial operations, might have been brought to light sooner than now. Now, the board has called a special meeting in response to these findings. That meeting is scheduled for tomorrow afternoon. Reporting live in Frankfurt with photojournalist Chad Cantliner, I'm Christy Batista, WDRB News.